This is the intersection of SR-65 and Immigration Canyon Road. If you look at this place from overhead, you can easily see how it's precariously built on some shale rock. That's not safe in the event of a landslide, and it's too easy to drive off the road and into the water down below with or without a guardrail. So what we are going to do to relocate this intersection to be slightly further north of here, it's going to go from here to right here. It's all going to be changed to a different look of an intersection too. In the present, it's just a T-intersection, which can be hard to navigate in this kind of terrain. But when it gets relocated, it's going to be a roundabout, which will make both SR-65 and Immigration Canyon Road be one. That'll be easier to navigate in some better terrain. Now watch and see. Coming from Interstate 80 on SR-65 to continue north to East Canyon, you drive the circle to the right and take the first exit. To continue west through Immigration Canyon, you take the second exit. Going all the way around it, you will take you back to Interstate 80. Coming from Immigration Canyon to go to Interstate 80, you drive the circle to the right and take the first exit. To continue through East Canyon, you take the second exit. Going all the way around will take you back through Immigration Canyon. Coming from East Canyon to go through Immigration Canyon, you drive the circle to the right and take the first exit. To continue on to Interstate 80, you take the second exit. Going all the way around will take you back through East Canyon. As for this old intersection that you see right here, it'll be closed to traffic, bicyclists, and even pedestrians. It's too dangerous for people to be there. The area will be fenced off from all uses with the red and white road close sign right there at the road. Immigration Canyon Road will be going on this side of the hill and SR-65 will go on the east side of the reservoir. The land will eventually crumble away into the water down below.